Hello friends, welcome to my channel HVACR Engineers. Be professionals. Hi friends. This video, we going to understand all about, U-Trap, at Condensate Train Line. What is the purpose of, U-Trap? Why, U-Trap is necessary, in HVAC condensate pipe. How to size, and, install the U-Trap, for blow-through unit, and, draw-through unit. First we see, what is the main purpose, of installing, U-Trap, at condensate drain pipe. 1. Main purpose is to, stop the sewer gases, bad odor, and, bad smell, back to the unit, and space. 2. Prevent the water backflow. 3. Prevent, penetrations of any insects. U-Trap is, among the important component, of the condensate drain pipe, in HVAC system. Whether it's AAHU, or, fan coil unit, why, U-Trap is important, in HVAC condensate pipe, it traps the water inside, preventing sewer gases, from coming back into the house. The primary function, of the U-Trap, is to prevent infiltration of air, into the unit, via the drain line. How, the U-Trap works? The condensate drain pipe is, designed to retain a small amount of water, and, this water standing, in the bottom of the curved portion, of the trap seals the drain, and, keeps sewer gases, from escaping the drain, and, entering your home. Drainage system, must be equipped, with a water seal trap. Sizing the condensate trap, is commonly overlooked and, here that covers, all aspects of design. Incorrectly sized U-trap, will not allow condensate water, to continuously discharge. How to size, the U-trap. The differential height of the trap, inlet to outlet must be, at least 1 inch water gauge, greater than, the total static pressure of the unit. Here, you can see the sizing of, U-trap. H, is the distance between, upper, and, low level of the, U-trap. So, H is, usually static pressure of, the fan coil unit, or, AHU, plus, 1 inch of water gauge. J is, half of the H. So total height of, the U-trap is, J plus H. U-trap, at draw-through unit? In a draw-through system, the fan is pulling air, through the cooling coil. Since the condensate drain pan is, on the fan side, there is a negative pressure at, the drain relative to outside the unit. First, we look into, the U-trap, for draw-through unit. At ideal fan-off condition, both side of the trap, contains the same level of water, before starts the fan, and condensation. Here, look into the, U-trap at fan started, and the condensation, not yet begin. So, the water level of the U-trap, increases one side, due to fan static pressure. That is J, which is equals to H divided by 2. Now here the cooling, and condensation begins, and water started to drains off. A draw through drain, without a proper trap, will create a turbulence, at the drain port, and, hold the water in the drain pan. This can cause, the water not to drain, and, can cause overflow problems. U-trap, at blow-through unit. In this system, the blower is pushing air on the evaporator coil, and, creates a positive pressure, on the drain line. This actually helps, push the water down, the drain. In this system, you do not need a trap, other than in the main sewer line. But better, if have a U-trap, in individual pipelines. Next, we look into the U-trap, for blow-through unit. At ideal fan-off condition, both side of the trap, contains the same level of water, before starts the fan, and condensation. Here look into the, 
you trap at cooling, and condensation begins, the water started to drains off, due to positive pressure, in fan coil side, and the water easily pushed down, to drain off the water. What happen, if there is no trap, in condensate pipe? 1. No seal. 2. Air inflow. 3. Improper drainage. 4. Water carryover to duct work. 5. Admission of potentially contaminated air, bacterial growth. There should not be, an air vent, between the drain pan, and, the trap. Air vent normally be at, after the trap. Under normal conditions, condensate runs down the coil fins, and, drips into a condensate pan. A properly designed, and, properly functioning condensate trap, provides for discharge of water, from the cooling coil drain pan, while the water seal, prevents the flow of ambient air, into, or, out of the air handler. Several problems result, from improperly trapped systems, some of which can severely, impact indoor air quality.